السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ آل آف یو آر ڈوئنگ گریٹ ٹوڈے دا ٹاپک آف آور ڈسکشن از منیمم فیس سسٹمس If a system H of Z and its, in, and its inverse 1 over H of Z both are stable and causal then this H of Z is known as minimum phase system. Minimum phase systems are very useful. We will see its usage in today's lecture. But first we have to understand it. So minimum phase is a system whose inverse is also stable and causal. So if we have a system H of Z, how can we make 1 over H of Z stable and causal? This is the question. The only way is if the poles and zeros of H of Z both are inside unit circle. if poles and zeros both are inside unit circle the poles and zeros of 1 over z will also be inside unit circle because the poles of h of z will become the zeros of 1 over h of z similarly the zeros of h of z will become the poles of h of 1 over h of z for example if we have a system h of z it has let's suppose it has 1 zero and one pole its pole zero sketch is like this it has a zero at zero point five and it has a pole at minus zero point two if you take its inverse it will be one plus zero point two z inverse over 1 minus 0.5 z inverse one uh, pole zero sketch of 1 over z will look like this it has 1 zero here at minus 0.2 and it has a one pole at 0.5 so you can see because this system is stable and causal because its pole is inside unit circle its inverse 1 over h of z is also stable and causal because its pole is also inside unit circle if h of z and its inverse 1 over h of z both are stable and causal 
then h of z this h of z is minimum phase system one of minimum phase system usage is we can decompose any system into minimum phase system and all pass system we have studied all pass system in great detail in previous lecture so minimum phase and all pass system decomposition can be written in mathematical form as we have a system h of z it is decomposed into minimum phase system and an all pass system this decomposition is very useful later you will understand how this minimum phase system can be used in a useful way so we can decompose any system into minimum phase system and all pass system in this case the magnitude response of your system will be equal to magnitude of minimum phase system multiplied by magnitude of all pass system as you know all pass systems magnitude equals 1 or constant so this term equals 1 and your magnitude response of your given system h of z equals the magnitude response of minimum phase system if we look at the phase response of this system h of z we first have to express this system as mum of z magnitude of at minimum z e raised to power phase of minimum phase system multiplied by magnitude of all pass system into e raised to power j phase response of all pass system so from here i can express h of z as h minimum of z h all pass of z into e raised to power j phase response of minimum phase system plus phase response of all pass system here the terms in exponentials are added 
so your overall phase response of the system will be equal to the sum of minimum phase system plus phase of phase response of all pass system so you can see if you decompose your system into minimum phase system and all pass system the magnitude response the magnitude response will become the magnitude response of minimum phase systems but your phase response of your system h of z will be the sum of minimum phase system and all pass system let us try to understand these concepts using an example let's suppose you have a system h of z is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 3z inverse over 1 plus 1 by 2z inverse and i want to decompose it into minimum phase system and all pass system this is our objective so let's first draw its pole zero sketch it has one pole at minus one by two it has one zero at minus three as its pole is inside unit circle this h of z is stable and causal now to decompose this system into a, a minimum phase system and all pass system the first trick i am going to play is i have to modify this pole zero sketch for example let's suppose as you all know if you have a if you have a unit circle and let's suppose you have any system h ar arbitrary of z and its poles are here its zeros are here it is another pole here if if you add a pole here and you also insert a zero at the same location these pole zeros will have no effect similarly if you add a pole here and a zero at the same location this pole zero will have no effect in the overall system of this system h a of z because you know poles and zeros cancels each other so the trick i am going to play here is i will insert a pole and a zero at the same location in this pole zero sketch but where should i put pole zeros in the pole zero sketch of this h of z 
in the defi uh, in the definition of minimum phase system i said both poles and zeros must be inside the unit circle both poles and zeros must be inside the unit circle but for this system you have one zero outside the unit circle so if you put a pole as well as a zero at the reciprocal location of this zero which is minus 1 by 3 there will be no effect in the overall system because what you are doing is you are actually multiplying it 1 plus 1 over 3 z inverse over 1 plus 1 over 3 z inverse there is a pole at minus 1 by 3 there is a 0 and minus 1 by 3 and there is no effect if you multiply and divide it divide this h of z so after adding a pole zero pair at the same location which is actually the reciprocal pair of minus three you can decompose your system into minimum phase and all pass phase all pass system so from this pole zero sketch you can split this pole zero sketch as this is the original pole at minus 1 by 2 and you are taking this zero here which we have already inserted here it is at minus 1 by 3 so this pole zero sketch is representing a minimum phase system because its both pole and zero are inside unit circle and you take this zero of original h of z which is at minus three there is a pole left here you have to take it here which is at minus 1 by 3 so from the previous lecture you can observe here these pole zeros are conjugate reciprocal pair of each other because they are real there is no conjugate involved but they are reciprocal pair of each other so this is an all pass system this is minimum phase system this is all pass system what you have done is you had h of z whose pole zeros are represented with black color here then you inserted a zero and pole at the same location which a, which is actually the reciprocal location of minus three which is min, which becomes minus one by three and you split this pole zero sketch into a sketch of minimum phase system and all pass system this pole is at minus one by three this 
is all pass system this is minimum phase system so mathematically from this expression which i am going to do in a new screen will actually become equal to h of z One plus one by three z inverse one plus one by three z inverse here this zero is divided by pole of original function h of z and here we have zero of original function 1 plus 3 z inverse zero is at minus 3 this is minimum as a minimum phase system and from here you can actually write it like i am taking three common from here z inverse plus 1 by 3 1 1 3 z inverse this is all pass system remember the all pass systems can be represented by a, a factor like this we have studied it in previous lecture z inverse minus a conjugate over 1 minus a z inverse this is all pass factor So here, z inverse plus one by three, one plus one by three, z inverse. This is all pass system. So we have decomposed our system into minimum phase system and all pass system. Let us do another example. For example, now you have a system h of z which has two zeros in conjugate pair form pi by four z inverse one minus three by two. e raised to power minus j pi by 4 z inverse all divided by 1 minus 1 by 3 z inverse from this expression we can easily sketch its pole zero this is a unit circle it has one real pole at 1 by 3 and it has two conjugate zeros at 1.5 magnitude and pi by 4 radians angle so now you have to decompose it into minimum phase system and all pass system now the first thing is we have to find out where we should place poles and zeros so these two zeros are outside the unit circle 
to may to decompose it into minimum phase and alpha system minimum phase systems need all the poles and zeros inside unit circle so the obvious choice is we have to insert a pole and zero here similarly we have to insert a pole and zero here both these pole zero and pole these pole zeros are conjugate pair of each other and they are conjugate reciprocal with this zero similarly this pole zero is conjugate reciprocal with this zero so let us decompose this system into all pass system and minimum phase system the minimum phase system will become it had a one pole 1 by 3 this has a 1 by 3 pole the requirement of minimum phase system is its poles and zeros both be, must be inside the unit circle so we can take zeros of inside circle from here then this pole zero sketch will represent minimum phase system and we had two zeros we have left two poles here one can be shifted here and one can be shifted here as you can observe these pole zeros are in conjugate reciprocal pairs so this is all pass system so we have decomposed this h of z into minimum phase system and all pass system so from this pole zero sketch of h minimum of z its expression will be equal to 1 minus 3 by 2 e raised to power actually it is uh, not 3 by 2 it is 2 by 3 because they are inside unit circle e raised to power minus j 5 by 4 z inverse and here 1 minus 2 by 3 e raised to power j 5 by 4 z inverse so we have two zeros in conjugate pair form and one original pole which is at minus th at, at minus at uh, plus 1 by 3 this is at plus 1 by 3 so we have here 1 minus 1 by 3 z inverse this is the expression of minimum phase system similarly we can also write the expression of all pass system from this pole zero sketch it will be equal to one minus three by two z inverse e raised to power j pi by four one minus 
थ्री बाय टू ई रेस टू पावर माइनस जे फाइव बाय फोर जी इनवर्स डिवाइडेड बाय वन माइनस टू बाय थ्री ई रेस टू पावर माइनस जे फाइव बाय फोर जी इनवर्स Here we have poles inside unit circle. Where as for all pass system, there is no restriction on zeros. They can be outside the unit circle. So here we have zeros both on, uh, both are outside the unit circle. So the other pole is which is that conjugate pair of this pole. It will be at two by three e raised to power j pi by four z inverse. This is conjugate of this pole. right as you can see we have two zeros and two poles as clear from this curve we have two poles and two zeros if we take common Minus three by two e raised to power j pi by four. Then the first factor will become minus two by three e raised to power minus j pi by four plus z inverse. I am taking. Minus three by two e raised to power j pi by four from this. Similarly, I can take common minus three by two e raised to power minus j pi by four common from this factor. So it will become z inverse minus two by three e raised to power J pi by four, and in the denominator we have two poles which are intact. We are not modifying anything. So. this exponential and this exponential will cancel each other because the phase terms are being added and the, we have e raised to power 0 is equal to 1 and minus 3 by 2 and minus 3 by 2 we have 9 by 4 z inverse minus 2 by 3 e raised to power j pi by 4 i am writing this expression from here because they are being multiplied they they can be interchanged into z inverse Minus two by three e raised to power minus j pi by four. Here I am writing this expression divided by one minus two by three e raised to power minus j pi by four z inverse. And here I have one minus two by three. e raised to power minus j pi by 4 z inverse see here we have positive e raised to power j pi by 4 i have just interchanged these terms so you can observe here 
this is an all pass factor this is an other all pass factor from the previous lecture recall that in the general expression of all pass systems here we have a constant number of complex conjugate reciprocal pair is equal to 1 that means we have two poles which are in conjugate pair form we have one pair of two poles for which we have two zeros which are at conjugate reciprocal location of these poles as clear from this pole zero sketch here number of complex conjugate pair is 1 this is one pair and their respective conjugate reciprocal zeros are here this is all pass system and its, express, its, its expression is this one this is all pass of z so putting this expression of all pass of z here and the expression of minimum phase system here you can decompose your system h of z into minimum phase system and all pass system whose sketches are pose your sketches are represented here this pole zero sorry this minimum phase and all pass system decomposition is very useful let's see for example for example you have a system which is noisy or distorting here d is representing distortion here d is representing distortion this system is undesirable if you feed it a signal x of n it will get distorted and I want to put a system in series with this system which can compensate this distortion which is being introduced by this system so I want to have a system here which can compensate this distortion introduced by this distorting, distorting system and I want to get approximation of this original signal x of n which is compensated signal so if I want to compensate the system this system I can do it easily by decomposing this system if I know its frequency response I can decompose it into minimum phase and all pass system so from this decomposition if I choose my compensating system as the inverse of minimum phase system I can decomp I can compensate this di distortion how let's see the overall system response of this these two systems is this
and as you know when two systems are in cascade their frequency responses are multiplied so this h of z here is equal to h d of z into h c of z so here putting the values of h d of z h minimum of z into h all pass of z and putting value of compensating system at c of z which is actually the inverse of this minimum phase system you have h minimum of z here these two minimum phase systems will cancel and your overall response overall response of this system will be simply the all pass system so this system doesn't have any distortion because this system has constant gain this spectrum will not introduce any distortion your in into your input but this all pass system here h of z has become h of all pass of z this is actually the equivalent equivalent of these two systems it will has it will have constant gain but we, but it will introduce phase distortion into your input signal but in some practical applications this phase distortion doesn't matter sometimes it matter but sometimes it doesn't matter but amplitude or magnitude distortions you have compensated here by simply choosing this compensating system as the inverse of this minimum phase system now let us highlight some important properties of minimum phase systems for example you have a distorting system h of z and you decompose it minimum phase system and all pass system then its magnitude response will be the product of minimum phase system and all pass system which will be equal to the magnitude of minimum phase system secondly phase response of this system h d of z will be equal to the sum of phase response of minimum phase system plus phase response of all pass system this property is known as minimum phase lag property from this expression you can observe that the reflection of zeros of minimum phase system from inside the unit circle to conjugate reciprocal locations outside the zero circle will always decrease the phase or you can say it can increase the negative of the phase similarly there is another property of this minimum phase system if you have uh, i uh, you can also call it 
non minimum phase system so you can uh, uh, from this decomposition your group delay can be expressed as the group delay of non minimum phase system is equal to group delay of minimum phase system plus group delay of all pass system this property is known as minimum group delay property from this property you can conclude that group delay of minimum phase system will always be less than group delay of non minimum phase system for example group delay of non minimum phase system is like this then if you decompose this system into minimum phase system and all pass system this minimum phase system will have lower group delay as compared to non minimum phase system you can see this group delay is greater than the group delay of minimum phase system so this is another property of minimum phase systems group delay in minimum phase system is always less than any other any other non minimum phase system let's see another property of minimum phase systems which is known as minimum energy delay property first thing i want to say that in order to understand or fully grasp the concepts of minimum phase lag property or minimum group delay property i hi highly encourage you to solve example number 5.13 from your book from your textbook example number 5.13 from your textbook if you want to understand the minimum phase lag property and minimum group delay property now come back here and let us discuss the minimum energy delay property of minimum phase systems it states that if you have an impulse response h of n and you have another impulse response which is the impulse response of minimum phase system h minimum of n then the magnitude at zeroth index or in other words the value at time index 0 will always be less than or equal to the sample value of minimum phase system at time index 0 in other words the energy 
of minimum phase systems are concentrated near n is equal to 0. Moreover, if you have two systems whose impulse responses are given here and their magnitude responses corresponding magnitude this is the magnitude response of this h of n and it is equal to magnitude response of this minimum phase system if they are equal then the energy of a system h of n i am using parseval's theorem here will be equal to the energy present in minimum phase system now let us define another parameter known as partial energy and let us define it as this is partial energy let us define it as m is equal to 0 to n in the previous expression of energy here the summation goes from 0 to infinity but here in case of partial energy here we do not have infinity instead we have a time index n we are not taking all the samples to calculate our energy we are taking part of the original signal from 0 to n in this case the partial energy sorry uh, first we have we have, i am defining partial energy there here this partial energy is equal to h of m magnitude the only difference is we do not have infinity here instead i am taking partial partial part of your original signal for example of your signal is like this and it goes to infinity then i am taking 0 to n i am taking only these samples then it is a partial energy present in this whole in signal h of n so in this case partial energy present in a system whose impulse response is h of n will be always less than or equal to partial energy present in minimum phase system in other words the energy of a minimum phase system is most concentrated around n is equal to zero let us further understand the minimum energy delay property of minimum phase systems with the help of an example let's suppose we have four systems whose pole zeros are given here all these systems have same magnitude response all these systems have same magnitude response but they have different phase response because you can see we have different location of zeros in each case as clear from this these graphs this is minimum phase system 
this is maximum phase system for maximum phase system all the zeros must be outside the unit circle and all the properties of maximum phase systems are opposite to the properties of minimum phase systems these two systems they are non minimum phase systems their respective pole zero sketch is given here let's suppose if we take n is equal to 2 then this minimum phase system whose impulse response is given here its energy is equal to 1.56 square plus 2.89 square plus 3.39 square because we are taking partial energy it will be equal to 22.28 similarly if you calculate the ener partial energies for all these systems for example this is non minimum phase system its energy will be 19.9 partial energy will be 19.9 so from here from all these curves you can observe that the energy or magnitudes are mostly concentrated around zero for minimum phase system for maximum phase systems they are here the higher values of, of pulses are here for minimum phase system the higher pulses are here moreover the partial energy is maximum for this minimum phase system as if you compare the partial energy of all these systems this is maximum energy maximum phase system this is non minimum phase systems if you compare the energy partial energy present in this minimum phase system will be higher than all these uh, all the uh, in partial energies of all these systems here is a graph here you can see this curve is the energy present in a system with respect to n and this is a system this higher graph this this graph is representing a system which is minimum phase and this is a system which is maximum phase you can see here it has highest energy at this point and it will remain highest at 2 it is 22.28 whereas for minimum phase system or non minimum non minimum phase system it is 19.2 So this is end of today's lecture. If you have any question, you are free to ask. Thank you.